I am so hungry right now. <laughs> oh, Led Bello, Vista Casa, that's the place. Okay. Oh, thank you. There's another bike box up there. We made it. Bike flights is here in Leadville. We just gotta get this thing set up. Expo starts in like an hour. Chatting with people, preaching the gospel. Bicycle shipping. What's up, buddy? Jeremy is here for his first lifetime Expo experience. Honestly, I'm so excited. Have yeah. you used bike flights before? I have before. Yeah? yeah. I like the service. It's a great service. Yeah. Cool. Bike flights. The only way and the cheapest way to ship your bike. Did you hear that? Did you hear that guy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now you know. Well, if you guys make millions off that, uh, you know. You'll, you'll expect some royalties. Yeah, some royalties. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Started in the corral system. Run into a little problem here. You have to sneak this beagle in. Come on, Sherm. We gotta initiate Operation Sneaky Beagle. Under the cover of Stan's No Tube, we have entered the venue. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you don't. You see, is this guy looking at me over my shoulder here? I don't see anybody looking at anybody. You're all good. We made it. See you, man. Oh, yes, yeah, you. Oh, yeah. Love your videos, man. I heard your dog barking. I go, I know that freaking sound. I've seen that dude's video. <laughs> All right, we're pro something. Pro something. <laughs> Oh, Carrie Werner. Thank you. Hello. Oh, you love you. us. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. I did a ride a couple of years ago in the Pacific Northwest. Nice. And bike flighted. They had my bike ready when I got there. I handed it to them when we got back. And it was in it was in Denver before I got home. Perfect. So That's it was, awesome. It was great. Yeah, yeah I recommended you to a lot of people. Awesome. awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck this weekend. It's heartwarming. <laughs> you know, it just it hits right there. All right, dude. All See right. you in a bit. Have a good ride. Have a good have a good CrossFit. <laughs> We're gonna go check out power line climb. The power line climb. I'm about to go drop a deuce. I better make sure there's nothing in my pockets. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right on brand. <laughs> Just heard about your key debacle. <laughs> yeah, what a stressful morning. <laughs> Everything went smooth, and then I got down there and I was like, Sherm's hey, locked. I keep all my keys right here. <laughs> Sherm was in the van this whole time. Here, here we go out and ride. So the whole house knows about this then. Oh, yeah. Can we note the clothing difference? Let me... Jesus Christ. Okay, I would just like I to say, when I left Frisco, it was 43 cats, degrees. Uh, yeah. And now the sun came out, you. and I'm definitely over it. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Well, hi to you two! Rude! Chop liver! <laughs> no, no, I want to thank her for posting the uh, power line. <laughs> yes! High five! Oh, I made him cry. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We got to have a good ride, guys. Get some dirt on that thing, buddy. No way, man. Then I have to wash it. Nice aspens. Nice ass pans. Dude, I did this at BCBR. Are you trying to get more views? No, <laughs> I want to get you more views. <laughs> What's our elevation here? Ten nine. How close do you think we are to the top? Three minutes. Three. Three, maybe two. Do this. Of course. And no you worries. got the beagle puppy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I like how 
that no dogs allowed sign just doesn't apply. Okay, so back in 2020, we did the Colorado Trail, and because of a wilderness section, we rode through downtown Lead. I had some problems with my shoes. They broke. My big toe was touching the ground from the two-hour hike a bike up over Wheeler Pass, and we popped into Lead Velo Bici Casa here, and Rafa, the guy that started it, hooked me up with a pair of Giro shoes for 20 bucks. They were a size too big, they were used, and I was able to finish the Colorado Trail. Otherwise, there's no way I would have been able to finish. So we're gonna pop in there and see if he's in there and say thanks, because I haven't been back to Leadville to thank him since that time. Come on, We've got important business to do. Hey, is Rafa here? Yeah, he's back here. He's Interested in your food right now. Okay. Me too. Hey, come here. Rafa! What's going on? Hey, dude. How are you? I'm Kerry Werner. I came through with uh, two other dudes in 2020, and I had a Wheeler Pass, like, totally blew out my shoes. And you sold me a pair of Giros for 20 bucks. I remember, yeah. Yeah, you remember? I totally, yeah. I was able to finish, and everything was great. Awesome, awesome. I just wanted to say yeah. thanks. I haven't been back to Leadville since, so thanks a lot. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah. how's it been? Yeah, good. Are you competing uh, tomorrow? I am. Oh, sick. All yeah. Right. So, Save for the vision quest. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Awesome. You're stopping by to say hi. Thanks so that's much. awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm being left. You work for bike flights? I do, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, do you use bike flights at all? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Sorry. Excuse us. <laughs> I should go back, watch my Colorado Trail vlogs. I think it was day two. When you come to Leadville, Led Velo, BC Casa, Rafa's your guy. I gotta get back to the freaking expo. Justin's probably. Not stoked, left him alone forever. He's probably just getting swamped with questions about bicycle shipping right now. Uh, I think it's time to break down. So loud! Two days of expo in the books. Now, we're getting out of here. It's food time. Gotta get home and get ready for this bike race tomorrow. Basically, all I gotta do is mix bottles. Nice job, dude. Woo! Done. Done. Expo done. Expo done. Like, done. Skirt. Yep. Now I gotta pick that up later. So I'm gonna start with two bottles and then grab two bottles at every feed zone. I will not bonk out there. Plan on having 180 grams of carbs on my bike. Plus two of these here 250 millimeter flasks with 160 grams of carbs. Some hot shot just in case the legs decide to shut down. Hopefully it works out. And if it does, you should wanna be like me. And you can use code CARRY20 for 15% off. <laughs> hey, how do you hold a bottle to feed it? Boom. He knows. We're gonna be dialed tomorrow morning. Okay, buddy. See you in about six and a half hours, mister. See ya. Five, four, three, two, one.
Oh man, that was a day, let me tell you. I don't even know where I placed, I don't even think it matters. Over 11,000 feet of climbing, all above 10,000 feet of elevation. That was f***ed up. I'm f***ed up. I didn't like talk about this before the race, but here's the setup. My standard Hey Hey setup, only thing different is I put a 36 on. I cut these bars down to like 580. It rode really well. I felt really good on the bike. It was just the legs wouldn't go. I had like a 300 watt ceiling. Different beast up here. My first Leadville. But Jeremy and uh, Jeremy and Justin were in the feed zone. Phew. No bonking out there. That was great. Nutrition was dialed. Everything was great. Just body. Body was not. So we're gonna go get some food. And then I'm driving back across the country on Monday for the Transylvania four day gravel stage race. So that's where I'll see you guys next time. Howie! Got my buckle. That means Leadville is officially done. Cheers, homie.